Hey guys. Today I have a guide on how to fix CPU overheating on GTA 5. I'll try to make this video as short as possible, to not make you lose too much time. First of all, we need to find out what is the cause of our overheating. Some of the fixes may or may not work with your case, or simply your PC slash monitor. I'm going to use a program that measures temperature and usage of your CPU. It's very good and simple to use. I'll leave the download in the description. First of all we need to make sure our PC energy usage is set on balanced mode. To do this, we need to go to our control panel. Then click on hardware and sound. Then click on power options. And make sure you have it set on balanced. If I set it on high performance, my CPU megahertz will spike up as well as a few degrees of temperature. We absolutely do not want this, because on GTA 5 it only makes it worse. Right now I have the game in windowed mode. Let's try to switch to full screen, shall we? Notice how, upon switching to full screen mode, the megahertz spikes up, as well as the temperature rising, this despite the CPU being barely used by the game. I'm going to drive around to show you that sooner or later, the CPU will reach scary temperatures. It makes no sense that it goes up to 80 degrees Celsius, even though it is barely being used. Especially in summertime, your PC will generate more heat. A few days ago, when I decided to investigate about this problem, my CPU reached the alarming temperature of 91 degrees Celsius. I decided to do my best to find a solution, because, I'm pretty sure no one wants their CPU to fry to death. As I was attempting to fix the issue, I was listening to music on my in-game self-radio. That's when I noticed my CPU temperature would spike even more, and realized the self-radio was also one of the causes of the CPU overheating. After googling the issue, it came out that this has been a problem since the release on PC, and Rockstar never bothered to fix it. Let's try switching back to windowed mode. Notice how after I switch back to windowed mode, the megahertz lower down, as well as the temperature going back to normal, and at the same time, the CPU usage rises up to 30%. What the hell Rockstar? What kind of mess did you make in your code to let this happen? So, to summarize, here's what you can do to fix the overheating issue of your CPU. Play in windowed mode. Stop using self-radio. Mind that, switching to windowed mode might not fix the issue, as it was happening to me initially, here's what we can do to fix that. One solution is going to be a bit harder, the other is going to be simpler. The simple one, reduce the resolution of your window, even switching from 4K to 1440p drastically reduced the temperatures my CPU would reach. I advise you to play like this as a temporary solution, until you find another fix, if the ones I listed slash I'm going to list, don't work for you. 
the other solution is going to be harder simply because it requires to have two monitors, and I know that not everyone can afford it. The fix I'm going to tell right now is how I completely fix my issue. It's always going to work, 100% of the times. However I found out that it isn't necessary as I just need to switch from full screen to windowed mode to fix the problem. The problem can be noticed even before loading into the game. Look how high are the megahertz of my CPU during the loading of the game. Here's the trick. Right now the game is not in full screen mode. I have started it in windowed mode. This is what I meant when I said that it might not work. This can be fixed by switching to full screen and then back to windowed. But in case it's not going to work still, here's the double monitor fix I found out. I'm going to drive around a bit like before. If you see the temperature in megahertz lower, it's because I alt tapped that reduces the resources the game uses. Here's my second monitor. The fix consists into taking the game's window and dragging it to the other monitor. Notice how, right after I drag it into the second monitor, the CPU megahertz and temperature instantly lower down to normal. You can still play by just leaving a tiny bit of the game's window into the second monitor. This is the best fix I've found so far, and it worked like a charm for me. Here we are once again with the last fix I have for your CPU overheating. This time we are in full screen in case you don't like to play in windowed mode, but it also works if your CPU still overheats in the latter. This fix might not work if you have an older system, specifically a weak CPU. This fix works fine to partially mitigate the problem, your temperature will still increase, but not to at least scary levels. Remember that self radio also increases your CPU temperature together with full screen mode. Driving around once again. Feel me out with your 
your smile For the sunshine brings the light Fill me out with a flame I will let you in this game For this fix we are going to need to open our task manager. After that, click on the details tab and look for your GTA 5.exe. After finding it, right mouse click on it and click again on set affinity. After clicking that, it will show you the number of cores GTA is using. You are free to toy around with it to see how much temperature per core you will reduce. Just don't go below 3 cores or you'll start losing a lot of FPS. As a temporary fix, I used to give it maximum 4 cores to use. This helps reducing the temperature, even if using the self radio and playing in full screen both. As you can see, it hardly exceeds 70 degrees Celsius, going up to a maximum of 71. A bit of Eurobeat never hurts. One last small fix for windowed mode. More often than not, the windows taskbar is going to be in the way, but there's a quick and simple solution to this. We are going to need to open our task manager once more, and and in the processes tab find the process called windows explorer. After locating the process, click on it, and in the bottom right corner of the task manager click on restart. After doing so, go back on GTA 5, press Alt plus Enter to go into full screen, and then press it again, to go back to windowed mode. There you go, no more taskbar bothering your window.